on this Easter weekend, I wish you the happiest Easter experience that you can have. Some of the greatest family memories are when families come together, even extended families, and go to church together on Easter and attend all the events. I can remember times with my granddaughter and my children where we would do the Easter egg hunts. I used to have a large ministry where we would have an Easter egg hunt over about 10 acres. And then seeing that after church with those little children running, trying to find those eggs. It was really fun. And when I close my eyes and think about that, I smile inside of my soul. Well, I pray that you have these kind of experiences in your life. And if you no longer have children, I invite you to go to these activities anyway and enjoy the, the wonder of seeing these little kids going after these eggs and also the wonder of attending service and hearing about the wonder of Easter about the tomb that did not hold Jesus, about him rising again, about him living, about him living today, and that is something to celebrate, not just in an outer church way, but an inward soul way. And to realize that we are the same he said, follow me, and we can. We can follow and have resurrections in our own life to, to lead us to overcomings. And that is what Easter is about. It is not celebrating the end. It is celebrating the beginning. I've written many times that we are Easter people that we are people that, that are not held down, are not confined to our tombs. We're not confined to situations. But with God, we have the power to rise again. And I pray that for you and for your family. And again, I wish you the happiest Easter experience. May this be a special Easter. May it be an Easter that you will hold in your memory. And maybe, perhaps, it'll be an Easter that is a time where you rise and you have a new beginning in your life. I pray that for you, and I bless you in that great Easter experience.